Michael Burkle Hun. In the first episode, we talked about the difference between being pie slicers and pie makers. So today is all about looking in the pantry. Let's look in the pantry, Episcopal Church, and see what kind of resources we actually have. Because today, you're going to show me the money. Show me the money! Now, I do a lot of traveling around our Episcopal Church, and when I'm in churches and around Episcopalians, I tend to hear a lot of concern about scarcity and decline. Congregations don't have enough to pay their associate rectors. Some of them don't have enough to pay their vicars. Many don't have enough to do the outreach they'd like to do or the youth ministry they think is important or to fund the music that they love every Sunday morning. But I know how to read a parking lot. So I got to thinking, how could we figure out how much we actually do have in the pantry? Let's just say, for example, that your congregation has an annual budget of $160,000. Now, that's not huge. And now let's assume for the moment that everyone in your church is tithing, which means that that $160,000 represents 10% of what's actually in our pockets, that this congregation actually has $1.6 million that they're actually going to have this year to spend. But we all know that everybody's not tithing, right? In the United States today, the average contribution to a church is more like 2.5%. If that $160,000 represents 2.5% of what's actually in our pockets for this year, we actually have $6.4 million. $6.4 million is actually what's in the pantry. And that's just this year. And those numbers are rather conservative. They don't take into account the cars we drive or the houses we own or the stuff that we've got in the bank. That's just the income that we might have this year. We've got a lot in the pantry, folks. $6.4 million to take care of 200 people, and we'll want to have some of it to spend on doing the ministry of the church, right? Now I know what you're saying. That sounds like socialism. Folks, this is not a political thing. This is just an attempt to help us really understand the realities of our economic position. But let's not stop at the parish level. Let's look at what a diocese might have. Let's look at the pantry in the Diocese of Southwestern Virginia, shall we? The Diocese of Southwestern Virginia in 2013 had an operating budget of $1.9 million. And in the Diocese of Southwestern Virginia, each congregation is expected to contribute between 10 and 14 percent of their parish's budget to help the diocese run. So let's just say that that $1.9 million represents 12 percent of what the congregations actually have. So that would mean that the congregations this year alone actually have $16 million. And if everyone's tithing 10%, that means the total diocese spending power for this year is something more like $161.6 million. And that's if everybody's tithing, which we know isn't the case. If everyone's giving the national average 2.5%, then the Diocese of Southwestern Virginia actually has $646 million this year. That's the money that's already in people's pockets. Whoo! Show me the money. If Jesus could feed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish, imagine what Jesus can do with $646 million. Well, since I'm going around making everybody uncomfortable by looking in the pantry and stuff, let's not stop there. Let's go all the way to the top. What's in the pantry of the National Episcopal Church? The 2011 budget for the Episcopal Church is $52.9 million. And we know that that is a 21% flat rate applied to all dioceses. That means that the diocese have $252 million. And if that $252 million represents the spending power of the entire Episcopal Church, and if everybody's tithing, we've got $2.5 billion to spend in the Episcopal Church this year. And if everybody's not tithing, but just giving the average, then that means we've got $100 billion dollars in 2011 to spend in the Episcopal Church. Again, we don't have to put it all on the table and share it all, but it changes the game when we realize that we got $100 billion in the pantry, my sisters and brothers. But I hear what you're saying. That's not the whole story. I get it that not everything in the pantry is available for spending on ministry. And I'm not here doing one of those stewardship campaigns saying, we've got all the resources we need, it's just in your pocket, not in the plate. When the church was established, the ways we were funding ministry seemed to work. 
we were able to feel secure in our households, give that 10% to the church, and the church had enough to do what it needed to do. But now that we're entering the age of disestablishment, things need to change. And let's be honest, we as a church haven't figured out how that should work yet. The ways we've been doing pledging, tithing, and asking just don't tell the truth about what we've got in the pantry, and they don't encourage us to act as pie makers. And of course, that's just thinking about the money. We need to start opening up the pantry and realizing all of the gifts and talents that we have and trying to figure out ways to put those resources to the service of our ministries in a different kind of way. Do we have any doctors in the church? How about financial planners? How about teachers? How about lawyers? How about people who own businesses or drive trucks? How about people who work in shops or manufacture things? What if we were to offer all of those to the church? God has given us so much, and yet we still turn to the marketplace when we need something in the church. Why is that? It's particularly difficult in the Episcopal Church for us to deal with disestablishment because going all the way back to the signing of the Declaration of Independence, establishment is something we've been really comfortable with. After all, who built the National Cathedral? Yeah, that's right, we did. But what does all this have to do with being a church in different ways in order to help us find our security somewhere other than where it's currently placed? Well, join me in part three. I'm Michael Burkle-Hun. Peace.